everybody knows about the war of Mahabharat, an epic battle that claimed lives of countless people. Bloodshed was the only outcome of this battle, which lasted for 18 days. The entire clan of the Kauravas got destroyed in this battle of Mahabharata. The battle was so fierce that nobody in the clan except five Pandavas could survive. The massacre wasn't confined to the Kauravas and Pandavas. It trailed many years even after the war had ended. One more dynasty got destroyed a few years after the Mahabharata. It was Shri Krishna and his clan Yadavansh. The destiny of death of Krishna was written even before he took birth. You might be thinking how it is possible, but it is. You might not be aware of the fact that Lord Krishna was the reincarnation of Lord Rama. In the Treta Yuga, when Lord Rama was serving his exile of 14 years, Ravana trickily abducted Mother Sita. Lord Rama and his younger brother Lakshman set out to search Mother Sita. When they were wandering in search of Sita Mata, from one forest to another, they came across Sugriv, who was gloomy because his own brother Bali had extorted his wife. But Bali had got such a boon that Lord Rama was not able to defeat him in a one-to-one -one duel. He found out a way and arranged a one-to-one -one fight between Bali and Sugriv. Taking benefit of this opportunity, Lord Rama stealthily shot an arrow at Bali. This resulted in death of Bali. As Bali was killed deceitfully, his wife Tara cursed Lord Rama gloomily that her, her husband, husband would, would kill, kill Lord, Lord Rama, Rama with an arrow in the, the next birth the, the same way, way as he had, had killed, killed her husband, husband still Dili. Later in the Dwapar Yuga, when coronation of Yudhishthir was arranged after the end of the Battle of Mahabharata, Gandhari, the mother of Kauravas, holding him responsible for the genocide, cursed Lord Krishna that Yadavansh also, also will get, get destroyed, destroyed the same way as, as Kauravas, Kauravas did. did. Because of this curse of Gandhari, after returning from Dwarika, Lord Krishna had come to Prayag region with Yadavanshis. After a few days, while having a discussion on the war of Mahabharata, Satyaki and Krutvarma entered into a dispute. In a fit of rage, Satyaki beheaded Krutvarma to kill him. An infight and war flared up between them. Divided in groups, they started killing one another and this is how the Yadavansh of Lord Krishna decayed. After the destruction of Yadavansh, Balram, the elder brother of Shri Krishna, set for meditation in the state of Samadhi, under a tree on the seashore. This is how Balrama, the incarnation of the Shesh Naga, disembodied himself and left for his heavenly abode. Later, Bali was born to a fowler in the Dwapar Yuga because of the curse given by Bali's wife to Sri Ram. His name in this birth was Jara. He was a fowler who stealthily hunted birds and animals in the night hours. As per mythological tales, Shri Krishna had a mark on his soul which glowed in the night time. This very mark caused the death of Lord Krishna. After the death of Balramji, one day Shri Krishna was sitting in meditation under a people tree, the mark on his soul glowing in the darkness of night. Taking this shining mark for the eye of a deer, Jara aimed the arrow at it. Coming close, he realized that it was none other than Lord Shri Krishna. He repented a lot and started begging apology. Then Shri Krishna told him not to fear and that he had only fulfilled the wish of Shri Krishna himself. He would deserve heaven then. After the fowler left, Daruk, the charioteer of Shri Krishna, approached. Noticing Daruk, Shri Krishna asked him to go to Dwarka and inform all about the destruction of entire Yadavansha and that Krishna along with Balrama had left for his heavenly abode. So, all of them must quit Dwarka because it was soon going to submerge. After all the rituals, Arjuna returned to Indraprastha along with those who survived among Yadavanshis. After this, entire city of Dwarka submerged into the sea. Friends, this was the complete information about the death of Shri Krishna and destruction of the Yadavansh. How did you like this video? Please do tell us by leaving a comment. Please like the video and share it. This is your friend Neha Agarkar. See you in the next video with a new topic. Till then, goodbye and Namaskar.